What's going on guys? Deathwish back with another Warpath video today. Today we are going to do our first impression, first take, a video on Polar Phantom. He is the new Air Force, the fighter specific officer that just came out. This is going to be my first take. I do not have him maxed yet. What I'm hoping is that I can get now that we're making our transition out of Moscow back into the server level three cities. What I'm hoping is what I can get with somebody within server 14 that has got him maxed and we can do some testing and things like that. And we can get you guys some actual hard concrete data information and things like that so you guys can kind of make uh you know educated decisions on which officer to move forward with accordingly if this is a good officer or not but today is not going to be a testing video today is strictly going to be my first impressions my first take we're going to review skills i'm going to give you guys my thoughts on what role he can play and if he's going to be a good officer and if i can see him being applicable for for future use so Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into our review of Polar Phantom. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like on the video below. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me greatly. I appreciate it. If you guys want to come join the community discord, which is now almost to 400 active members, all spanning all across Warpath from different servers, alliances, all across the game, we're having a ton of fun, sharing a lot of super awesome, helpful information. Would love to have you guys over there as a part of it ton of fun so without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump into our video and uh i'll see you guys in just a second Welcome back, guys. All right, so we've got Polar Phantom here. He is the brand new Air Force officer. He is specific to fighter planes. We are going to go ahead and take a look at his skills. We're going to see what those skills look like. We're going to review them, and then we're going to talk about them. So skill number one is going to be when this officer's fighter plane troop is attacked, it has a 50% chance to gain a stack of grit effect and increases damage by up to 10%, and it stacks up to five times, all right? That's skill number one. Skill number two is gonna be increase damage dealt by fighter planes to other fighter planes by up to 25%, but reduces damage dealt to bombers by 5%, all right? We have got for the third skill, increases patrol speed, all right, up to 13% while not in combat. Patrol speed is just another word for unit speed, right? It's just basically how fast it can fly. Skill number four is going to be increases fighter plane durability by up to 30%. And then once all of those four skills are level five and he becomes fully awakened, his awakened skill is going to be when this officer's fighter plane troop is attacked, it has a 50% chance to gain a stack of grit effect, increases damage by 10% for four seconds, stacks up to five times, after reaching five stacks of grit, triggering the skill again, will deal damage up to three enemy Air Force troops within an attack within attack range. Damage coefficient is 600, can be triggered once every five seconds. So meaning once his skill fires, he's going to be able to then attack three, assuming there's three or more Air Force units within his uh, radius or range of, of grids, he's going to be able to attack up to three of those at one time. So here's kind of my first take on this. I think he's actually going to be a pretty vital officer to have for Air Force, right? So the general kind of setup up to this point with the officers that we've currently had before Polar Phantom was released, we basically had the officers to accommodate a two fighter, one bomber setup. You could tailor it to, to a two, two bomber, one fighter, things like that. But there wasn't enough fighter specific officers to warrant three fighter units. However, this changes that whole dynamic pretty significantly, right? Because now we have got a two, we've got two when Brisk Eagle and Witcher, we've got two versatile, which means they could be on bombers or fighters officers. We've got Heaven Savior, we've got Wings of Glory, we've now got Polar Phantom, all fighter specific officers, right? So we can really kind of get creative and offset these bombers with some fighters now and having multiple fighters 
in my opinion, is pretty key. So I think Polar Phantom is going to be a pretty impact officer. I am currently working on Wings of Glory. I'm slowly approaching the halfway mark. I've got his first skill level five. I've got his second skill uh, level three, I believe, or about to be level three. So I'm closing in on the halfway mark, not quite on Wings of Glory. I'm going to go ahead and stick with him. I'm going to push through to get him done. Uh, and then I'm going to turn all my attention immediately to Polar Phantom. I don't know if I will be able to get him done before the next Conquest event. That is my hope and that is my goal. Uh, so we will see if we are able to do that. But I do think, again, I think this is going to be a pretty impact officer. And I think he's probably going to have an opportunity to offset Heaven Savior. All right. Heaven Savior. Think about Heaven Savior as kind of like the um, we'll call him the spanner of the ground units however he does not have a healing effect right but what he does do is he does reduce base aa gun damage he increases durability things like that so he basically think about it in in simple terms of like he makes whatever unit he's on uh a basically a sponge unit or a tanky unit right so if you've got some some air some fighter planes that are just kind of hovering around some bases you send him send in him first so everything targets his troop or his unit that he's leading right and that way he'll take all that damage and he'll take it longer and better than say maybe uh brisk eagle right and he will be able to let the other you know, assuming you have two two units he'll be let the other unit be able to come in and start just picking off the the units in the air and not really taking any damage at all so i think polar phantom is going to throw a kind of curveball here in the order in which the importance for these fighter officers are right Brisk Eagle is the number one overall Air Force officer, in my opinion. She is the most vital and key to get right away. A lot of people went Pixie. I am personally almost done with Pixie 2. I've purchased Pixie through the daily buys. Brisk Eagle is who I invested my statues in. And then I chose to go Witcher. A lot of people went for Heaven Savior. I chose Witcher just because I like the durability, the damage resist, the maneuverability, all the things that she can add to both fighters and bombers. So I went ahead and prioritized her so I could get both of the, uni uh, not universal, but uh, versatile Air Force officers taken care of early on. I think Polar Phantom here is going to throw a little bit of curveball in this, though, because I think he is going to overtake the Heaven Savior importance. I think him and Wings of Glory are probably going to be the next two priority fighter officers, even though Heaven Savior is great for kind of attracting and, and uh, soaking up some damage. I think that you can go Wings of Glory potentially as the lead officer here. In this situation, I think this would be a great pairing. You could go Wings of Glory for the uh, additional firepower and attack damage on your fighter planes. And then you could have Polar Phantom paired with him because he's going to have the increased attack damage, right? He's also going to be able to... Um increase the attack damage dealt specifically to fighter planes right so now this is assuming that you're going after dogfights not that you're targeting bombers right assuming you're targeting fighters and you're looking for a dogfight which is generally what you're going to get with fighters unless you're doing base defense not always but i'm just generally speaking here you're going to be interacting with a lot of bombers specifically with your fighters however even such i still think he's going to be an important officer because that that 5% damage reduction to bombers is going to be pretty pretty minimal, in my opinion. I mean, very minimal. 5% is not a whole heck of a lot. But the increase of 25% damage dealt to the fighters is a pretty significant amount. That's a quarter more damage, right? That's a whole lot more damage dealt to fighters, which gives you a pretty solid advantage in dogfights, right? We've got patrol speed. That's kind of irrelevant, to a point, I mean, it's good, all right? Here's how it could be good, because if you've got, let's say, Brisk Eagle and Witcher like I do on one fighter, right? Brisk Eagle's got an increased patrol speed skill too. So you pair her and, let's say, Witcher for just the example, right? That plane's gonna be faster than your secondary plane until now. Once you've got this skill all the way leveled up, both, both, both fighter units are gonna be able to keep pace with each other and enter battle and leave battle, theoretically speaking, and return to their base at the same time. So that's that's an important skill, but not really a super relevant skill. And then we've got increases fighter plane durability, and this is where I think he can really kind of offset Heaven Savior in terms of importance. And Heaven Savior is still a great officer, but I think this is I, I think uh, Polar Phantom is going to be kind of a, a more important officer, in my opinion, uh, to prioritize than Heaven Savior at this point, just because the increased durability of thirty percent paired with Wings of Glory, who's got mainly uh, attack and damage focused skills, is going to pair very nicely together because the Heaven Savior is the durability aspect of Heaven Savior is geared more towards taking less damage from bases, not just overall durability. So I, I, that's just my 
that's my take. I could be entirely wrong. And like I said, we're going to try to do some testing here on Polar Phantom as soon as we can as well. I'm already sending out uh, some messages and seeing if I can't find somebody that's got him maxed and if we can't put him to the test and see what that all looks like. But I do think he's going to be a pretty impact officer. And again, once you get over here to the uh, awakened skill, right, the whole idea, especially if you've got Brisk Eagle who does critical damage, right? And you've got Witcher, who's got some damage resist. And then you've got Wings of Glory, who's pretty damage uh, focused, right? Attack damage focused. The fact that once Phantom is unlocked or awakened, sorry, awakened, he's going to be able to attack. Once the skill fires, he's going to be able to attack up to three units is pretty, pretty significant, guys. Like, I don't know if, if that is realized quite yet but i think the fact that you can start attacking multiple units up to three within a certain amount of grids is going to be i think it's going to be pretty pretty significant and i think it's going to definitely allow for a lot more farming kills and things like that with fighters in conquest events or really just in any kind of battle any kind of air battle but i think that's going to be a pretty game-changing skill right i think that's going to be kind of along the lines of like an antonina right the extra grid of of firing range that she's got the fact that you can target th up to three units at once once that skill fires is i mean that could be that could be game changing that could literally be the, the the difference between you winning a fight in the air and not winning a fight so i'm definitely excited to get polar polar phantom completely unlocked and awakened like i said i'm going to push through i've already started wings of glory i'm going to go ahead and commit to him and getting that completely done getting all five or all four of his skills maxed at level five and awakened and then i'm going to turn all my attention and hit polar phantom as hard as I possibly can because I want to try to get Polar Phantom done uh, before the next Conquest event. Again, I don't know how long till the con next Conquest event is going to happen, but that's my goal, or at least to have a pretty good uh, you know, chunk of him done. So that's my first kind of take and impression on Polar Phantom. I think he's going to be a really impact officer. I think he's going to be an officer that once you have got the like i said i would still 100 prior percent prioritize brisk eagle if i if i was just starting my air force officers now what i would personally do would be brisk eagle first and then i would do polar phantom second and then i would do witcher however i had already done witcher before i uh had realized polar phantom was going to come out so uh with that being said i went ahead and obviously committed to witcher she's done i started committing to wings of glory because he is still a really impact air force officer fighter officer specifically Polar Phantom is going to be next on my list. I think he's going to be game changing, guys. That's kind of my first take. We're going to get some 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 data, hard data to you guys, and we're going to take a look at all, all that, and then hopefully that'll kind of steer you guys in the right direction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like on the video. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button as it helps greatly. If you guys do want to come join a part of the and be a part of the community Discord, the link is going to be in the pinned comment below as well as in the description of the video and every other video that I ever post as well. So appreciate you guys watching if you guys have any questions about this officer if you guys have any ideas on where he might end up kind of falling in the in the mix of all of these different air force officers let me know in the comments below let me know what you guys think the role he could play is if you guys think he's going to be an impact officer definitely let me know in the comments below and um, we'll kind of put our heads together and see what we can come up with so i appreciate you guys watching and i will catch you guys on the next one